what I would probably say is normally yes, um, but in my hands, no. And the reason I say that is because it, whenever you've had multiple previous operations, statistically speaking, the risks of all complications will go up. So if you've had one surgery, when you have your first original surgery, you'll sign what's called an informed consent. And that informed consent is like 10, 12 pages long. And it lists like every possible scary thing that could possibly happen. It's so rare. Anything in there, most of the things in there probably happen less than 0.1%, some of them 0.5. The most common one is capsular contracture, that hard scar tissue formation, and that happens in about 1%. If you have a second surgery, all of those rates go up, third surgery, even more. And therefore, breast revision, you're going to have high risk. Now, the reason I kind of joked around and said not in my hands is because, as I mentioned, I've been doing this for 20 years. I have a very methodical way of handling breast revisions and complications. I address each complication head on. I get the solution for the problem. And by doing that, I've been able to lower the complication rate dramatically. And so my patients who have breast revisions, they probably have the same complication rate as a first-time breast augmentation patients.